today we are making a video on lubuntu 23.10 mantic miniature so this is a development version or the daily build whatever you can call it so this is the boot menu of lubuntu 23.10 so let's quickly boot it in a live boot it's going to take like a maximum of a one minute uh, it's a development version maybe it should take a lot of time i don't know properly because the development version or the beta version will take a lot of time usually because they are still in the development so i'll be posting two videos daily without missing if you want to subscribe you can subscribe i already posted a content so if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video i'm running as a virtualization which is uh, vmware with 80 gb of hard disk 4 gb of ram and the two processors so this is a daily build of uh, 23.10 lubuntu mantic minotaur and the all the applications and the version should be same like the Luna Lobster because the Luna Lobster was uh, released like uh, not even uh, 20 days I guess. So I already made a content on that. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out in my channel. So here is the mouse pointer. It was quickly launched. I don't know what's uh, new. So it didn't take that much of time to load up as you can see the mouse pointer is also working properly and we should be having our desktop layout loaded in a few seconds and here is our desktop layout as same as the lunar lobster but as you can see there was a notification as the lubuntu 23.10 as you can see but the installer here, here is it says like a 23.04 so it's a Lubuntu 23.10 but it's the installer says the wrong number happens in the Ubuntu flavors sometimes. So let's first change the display resolution by going to LXQT settings, monitor settings and change the display resolution. Mine is 1920 into 1080. Let me quickly change it. Click yes for the confirmation. Even it's a development version, but uh, it still works properly. I don't think they have that much of bugs. We don't know properly, but uh, we should use like a two to three hours and we should be having information whether we get uh, bugs or the errors. We properly don't know still uh, till now. So the about LXQT version is a 1.2.0. Let me open the uh, task manager or the QPS this is the system monitor or the task manager in a Lubuntu so here are the all the system resources running right now here is the memory here is the CPU remember these things I'm going to open the task manager again at the end of the video and the swap and uptime is 2 minute 40 seconds so these are all the process running right now let me quickly scroll it down and uh, so these are all the information let's check out about the QPS 2.6.0 I don't think there will be uh, much of changes because uh, Lunar Lobster just released like uh, 20 days ago so I don't think that much of uh, uh, changes will be here so let's open the uh, what you call the terminal manager or the terminal let's type in the command which is inxi-sv8 hit enter INXI is not installed so let's try to install the INXI first copy the selection paste the clipboard it's going to take like a 40 seconds uh, maximum to install the INXI you need to type Y for yes and N for no to install the INXI almost uh, like a few more seconds and we should be having our INXI installed and uh, we should be getting our complete information here it's installed so let's type in the inxi-sv8 the command which will grab complete inf information of the distribution so let's quickly scroll it up let's try to change the uh, color if it's possible preference i don't think we can change the color here so let's keep it like that and uh, there was an option to change so let's keep it like that and uh, complete the information here the host is a Lubuntu kernel version is 6.2.0 and it's a 64-bit architecture compiler is not available right now desktop environment is a LXQT 1.2.1 QT version is a 5.15.8 and the open box version is a 3.6.1 
and distribution is a uh, Ubuntu 23.10 Mantic Minotaur. This is the uh, code name of the 23.10. 23.10 is a uh, Mantic Minotaur, and 23.04 was a Lunar Lobster and is still the Lunar Lobster. So the machine it says the VMware because I'm running it as a virtualization which is a VMware. So the Phoenix BIOS Phoenix version is a 6.0. I'm using a 4 GB of RAM for the uh, virtualization. Right now it's almost a 925 MB consumed. So this is my CPU information. If you want to check that out, you can check that out. Let's scroll it. So the display is a X11, server is a XArch version 1.21.1.7, compositor Picom version 10. So these are all the available uh, resolutions for the monitor. API OpenGL version is a 4.1, Mesa is 23.0.2, Pipefire version is a 0.3.65, Elsa version is here if you want to check that out you can check that out. Let me quickly scroll it down and I'm using a 80 GB of hard disk from my VMware. So here it says 80 GB. So let's scroll it down and process running right now at 269. Uptime is a 3 minutes, wake ups is a 47, init system D version is a 252, shell bash version is a 5.2.15, inxi version is a 3.3.26. So let's type in the command uh, which will give the same information as the above but in a short form which is inxi and the other command is a inxi small dash small b. So let's type in another command which is inxi dash capital G. These are all the commands which will give the same information as the above but in a short form. Let's type in another command which is a cat colon slash etc colon slash issue. So this is a different command. So it will say what is it's based on. So Ubuntu Mantic Minotaur development branch. Again you see it's a development ISO files. No need to uh, install it on your work PC. I'm just making the video for the purpose of uh, education just for the people who want to uh, get the information of the latest uh, ISO file of uh, Linux. So that's the reason I'm making it and I'm running it on a virtualization so be careful don't if you want to test it you can test it on a virtualization like a VMware or a virtual box. So don't try to install it on a work PC or a main PC it's going to ruin uh, your PC. I don't want you to ruin your PC that's the reason I'm uh, warning you. So let's type in the NeoFetch if it's uh, available or pre-installed. NeoFetch is pre-installed. So here is the complete information. Let's type in the Hestop. Hestop is also pre-installed. That's pretty good. So here is the RAM task and the CPU usage. Complete information is here. And I gave the complete information of the distro. So let's close it. And let's open some of the, let's open the installer. Let's search it here first. In Lubuntu there should be having like a two installers. Uh, I don't think they fixed still. Uh, there is a uh, two installer in a Lula, Lunar Lobster. So let's try to type in the install. As you can see, they still didn't fix. And this is still in the Lunar Lobster also. This bug is still in the Lunar Lobster. They mentioned it there in their website. So let's open the installer. Here is the Calamaris installer. Let me try to show you the installation process. It's still 23.04 Lunar Lobster. I don't know why. The Ubuntu version uh, changed which has 23.10 but uh, the Lubuntu has still the this version. I don't know why they, they didn't fix. It's a development version so no need to worry. So this is the installation style. First you need to choose the uh, language. There will be nothing change in the uh, version whether it's a 23.10 or 23.04 the installer will be same because the Calamaris installer will be same in every Linux distro no need to worry about that. So again you don't get the new installer as the Lunar Lobster Ubuntu 23.04 you still get the old installer that's uh, very bad in my opinion so let's go back to the installation and uh, complete the installer so let's click on next. You need to choose your location. You don't need to provide your actual location. You can provide any uh, location. Here are some of the customization. If you want to customize anything, you can customize here. Click on next after you uh, customized. 
so keyboard model it automatically gives you your keyboard so no need to worry you can choose your language here of the keyboard i choose that and click on next here is the option to delete the current operating system delete your complete files in the hard disk and it's going to install the lubuntu 23.10 or 23.04 whatever you choose the iso file so be careful while choosing this option it's going to delete the current operating system files and all the things whatever it's in the uh, hard disk it's going to be uh, erased so be careful while choosing this option this option gives you like a dual partitioning like you need to create a partition first and you need to choose this so that's a dual parting uh, dual operating system option so i'm choosing the single uh, boot or the rs disk and if you want to encrypt you can encrypt and this is the bootloader location if you want you can choose it if you don't want to install the bootloader you can install it later so you can customize it on your own so click on next and here you need to provide your username and password no need to provide your uh, actual username you can provide anything and for the password give the strong password always because that's for the safety and for the privacy for the sake of the video i'm choosing the simple password which is uh, 12345 you need to provide the strong password and write it down the password because if you forget it will be a very problem for you so if everything is going good you should be seeing a tick mark beside the boxes so that's the sign of uh, everything is going good so let's click on next here is the summary of the uh, installer or uh, whatever you choose in the previous steps it will be here and this is this will be happening after clicking on install so these are all the things will happen after clicking on install again the installation will take like a maximum of a 20 minutes or minimum like a 5 to 8 minutes completely depends on your pc uh, if you have a good end pc it should be very quick and if you have a low end pc it should be like a lot of time it depends on the linux distro and the system resources so that's the installation process after the installation it's going to say finish and reboot and you should be installed it on your uh, like a vmware or uh, whatever you choose as the installation destination so again i'm going to warn you this is a development version no need to try it only if you want to try it you can uh, test it in the virtualization don't try it in the uh, work pc or main pc because if they have bugs they, it's going to ruin your pc i don't want you to ruin your pc so that's the installation step so let's close the installer so let's try to open some of the apps and end the video like a feather pad let me just open the important apps not every app because it's going to take a lot of time like a image viewer and the library office what else we left is uh, on the internet we have a firefox web browser we don't get a thunderbird email client in the lubuntu so vlc media player also important on the system tools we already saw the installation no need to open it again so discover which is a software manager and on the preference there is nothing new so no need to open that too and about lx kitty i already mentioned or already showed so these are all the apps i opened like a uh, five to six apps let's check out the version of everything first let's check the firefox uh, web browser the version is a 112 i already made the subuntu 23.10 video if you want to check that out you can check that out so let's type in the uh, my channel url which is a uh, youtube.com forum slash 9 to 5 linux this is my channel url i don't think keyboard is working right now it is working no problem let's type in the website or the channel url this is my channel url click on enter it's going to open my channel i'm using a vpn so it's a bit of slow i'm using a vpn with a, a far server so it's a pretty so slow so this is my channel if you want to subscribe you can subscribe because i'll be posting the latest content whatever the new iso or the new linux uh, is released as soon as the iso file is released i will be making that content you don't need to wait for uh, something so as soon as the isos are released i will be making content you don't need to even uh, comment in my channel i will be making uh, way before everyone so i'm not saying my greatness i'm i will be posting the latest content that's the main thing 
I'm trying to explain. So this is the version of the Discord or the software manager. So let's check the VLC media player version 3.0.18. Let's check the LibreOffice version, which should be like a 7.5.2.2 because that's the version you will see in the Luna Lobster because uh, Luna Lobster was released like just uh, 20 days back. That's it. So the almost every version will be same like the Luna Lobster in the Mantic Miniature. Just a few days after, uh, after a few days, it will be changed like uh, to the latest versions. So this is the image viewer version, and the file file manager version is uh, Pacman FM 1.2.1. I think we covered everything. So let me open the uh, system manager or the system monitor or task monitor uh, manager and end the video. So here are all the resources running right now, CPU, memory, swap and uptime. I think that's it, the, that's it for the video. I already posted another content. If you want to check that out, you can check that out after watching this video. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did hit the thumbs up button, it helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.